Hello, hello everyone, uh, it's Mikhail and today I'm gonna shed some lights on my new asset uh, which I created in CineNotes with Cinema 4D and uh, make it like a capsule in order to you can use it with your project. So let's dive into Cinema 4D and find out how it works and how you can apply it for your projects. Okay, we're inside Cinema 4D and to begin with uh, I need to share with you uh, how to install it, you know, it's pretty straightforward to just go this, to this uh, OSIT browser, you know, let me actually switch to startup, okay, uh, layout, go to the OSIT browser, okay, uh, let deactivate everything, you know, and if you want to import this asset, uh, which you downloaded as a zip file, you need, just need to go to create and uh, import asset, you know, and uh, find out it here, you know, especially this one, you know, uh, just uh, softy shapes, you know, uh, open it, okay, choose uh, database uh, which you want to place this assets, press okay, and as you see, uh, skip the assets because already exists in the latest, latest version, because I'm already installed it, you know, so let's uh, uh, already here. So, so far so good. Let me switch to my layout with attributes, you know, uh, and go uh, press Shift C and let's type uh, uh, softy, softy shape. Just drag and drop it into scene, you know. Okay, we have this icon which a uh, similar color like uh, most modifiers inside Cinema 4D. As you see, it has uh, it has a bunch of parameters, geometry, noise, and subdivisions. You know, in order to find out how it works, just to create, for instance, polygon. Let's uh, change uh, width and scale by two, uh, 200 by 200, for instance. So let's uh, place our soft body shapes inside. By default everything disappear, always disappear, but that's because uh, we have only uh, zero iterations, let's increase by one, by two, and we got this one, you know, let's press NB to see the polygons, and as you see, it's pretty nice topology for upcoming soft body shapes, you know, uh, um, you also can use group one offset and group two offset, uh, just to create offset, let me change it to 22 by 22, for instance, maybe 55, 55 to get uh, something like that. And uh, as you see, we use uh, just uh, Cinema 4D noises. There are all of Cinema 4D noises which you can use for generate some soft body shapes. Let's play around with C to generate something, you know, like that or like that. It's pretty straightforward, I would say, you know. Uh, looks pretty nice, yeah, and you can easily use it with your soft body uh, dynamics, especially not soft body, a close, new close dynamics. Also, you can use a threshold to change it, you can change noise for purling, for, for instance, increase subdivisions, overall subdivisions, in order to get more detailed result with your uh, simulation stuff. Also, you can a bit smooth shape, uh, as you see, it's a uh, procedural setup, you know, let's a bit uh, Readjust our scene, create a plane, just a simple plane, increase size. Okay, and let's uh, right click on polygon, simulation cloth. Let's activate balloon, for instance, and let me add simulation tag collider to my uh, plane just to create kind of floor. If right now we press play, I think it should work. Yeah, we got something like jiggle, you know, animation, jiggle, <laughs> uh, deforming shape. If you want, you can increase, for instance, segment here, and we got this result, you know, we can go to the softy shapes, change scale, for instance, like that, or just uh, uh, change by one again, let me play a bit with it. Okay, we got this one, let me actually go to the soft body and bit readjust it, maybe uh, less bendness, you know, maybe go to the, press Ctrl D, go to the simulations uh, and increase iterations by 3. Let me check it again. Yeah, we got kind of soft body shape. So, I think you got the general idea how to use it, you know, 
how to create interesting uh, stuff, you know. Moreover, you can use auto UV. It's uh, not working by default. Maybe let's create just a simple standard material. Okay, uh, not this one, sorry. Uh, just uh, create uh, new standard material, apply it to our surface, you know, double click just to tutorial purpose go to the surfaces and create tiles you know we got these tiles okay and as you see when we select soft t shapes and activate auto uv you got kind of automatic uv of course it's not perfect because it's absolute procedural setup if you want to get proper uv you can just uh, uh, convert state object con Current, create current state to object and use uh, just a, a UV and wrap inside Cinema for the another program, you know. So I think you got the idea how to work with it. Uh, if you deactivate uh, this auto UV, you got something like that. Some problem here and here. In some cases, it was pretty nice, but I highly recommend to use auto UV or unwrap it after convert to the. Uh, 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 polygonal object, you know. So that's it. It's just a quick overview. It's not a full tutorial, just to be on the same page, understand how to uh, work with it asset, you know. Uh, I hope you like it and uh, see you very soon on next tutorials. And maybe I create one more asset inside Cinema 4D, uh, which I use in my uh, art project, in my uh, commercial project as well. So see you soon. Bye bye.